Thanks, guys. Really thanks for offering to help tidy my workshop, my young friends. What I don't need anymore, you can go ahead and sell for charity. I'm sure there's a lot of old memories back here, but who knows? It might be worth something. Yeah, that's great, Grandpa. Yup, and it's our absolute pleasure. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been in here. Yeah, you're telling me. <gasps> <gasps> <laughs> la la la. <laughs> mm, uh. yeah. Kids, I knew it was in here somewhere. Wow, it's very beautiful. What is it? It's a compass. It belonged to my old friend Hassan. Hassan knew I loved this. So one day Ooh. he decided to give it to me. I'm very glad to be reunited with it. Thank you for finding it. everything really fast. Yeah, seriously. I honestly didn't think anyone would want this old junk. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not at all surprised to see your grandpa's uh, fantastic stuff be selling so well. <laughs> Obaid, do you think you can get some more boxes for us, please? Mm-hmm. Just stay here. 
and look after the stall. Uh, no, no. You're coming with us, okay? Okay, but I need you to answer me this. Why was the compass even on the table with the other items in the first place? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Aha, so that's what happened. It was an accident, and I'm very sorry. Don't worry, Obeyed. Let's just make sure we get it back. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Ha! Nano, go and find that pirate! Huh? Okay. Pirate has been located. Follow on this course. This way, Grandpa! We need to go after him! Hurry, hurry! I'm on it! Full steam ahead! Here we go! <laughs> Get back the compass! It's not yours! You stole it! Yeah, it's not yours! And your parrot smells really bad! <laughs> Grandpa, he's landing somewhere over there! He won't get away from us. Hold on, everyone. Well done, Nano. I'll recharge your battery later. Come I on. should keep watch with your grandpa and the boat, you know. Come You're on. You're coming with us, Obeyed. <laughs> something like this. It's a priceless possession. You wouldn't understand. Enter. Where did you get this? Some random kid had it. Said it was his grandpa's. Ooh. Is that so? Well, in that case, we better pay him a visit. What's wrong, kids? Did you get it? I'm so sorry. This is all my fault, Grandpa. I'm the only one to blame. Don't worry, Obeyed. Possessions can be precious, but friends, true friends, are truly <laughs> irreplaceable. <laughs> huh? Look who showed up. I'm going to give this crew a piece of my mind. Nice of you to come back. What's the meaning of all this? <laughs> you want this? Give it back. That's my compass. Your compass? Are you Hassan? No. Hassan was my good friend. The compass was a gift from him. Now return it before I... <laughs> huh? <laughs> <laughs> so for the second time, I give you, my friend, this compass here. <laughs> it's true. You are my good friend. 
I will treasure it for the rest of my life. Ah. <laughs> okay, so who is this guy exactly? It's him, Hassan, the one who gave him the compass. Keep up, you Ow. dummy. Uh, that hurt, you know. Hmm. 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 Oh. <laughs> Looks like I've reunited with more than just my compass. Something way more important. A good old friend. <laughs> it was all thanks to you, Obeyed. You're very welcome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, class is over. Yeah. That's the end of school for this week, everyone. Obeyed and I are going for a swim now. Have a good time at your grandma's. <laughs> uh, no, I won't. See you at the mall tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes, I almost forgot another bit of news, something rather fun. Look, there's my grandpa. Hi there, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Mansoor and Obeyed. What are you up to? We're just looking around. And waiting for Solemn. Oh, that's nice. Guess what? I'm thinking about getting one. A, A bike! bike! A bike. I think it's the coolest thing you could ever buy. Well, I'm not getting it now because I'm so hungry. Mm, then how about you buy us some ice cream? <laughs> All right, then, come on. What would you like, boys? Yeah. I'll have a small strawberry, please, with mango pieces. And I'll have one with chocolate and strawberries and a mango and banana and... Obeyed. Obeyed. What's wrong? You guys are the ones that told me fruits were good for me. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, I'm terribly sorry, but I don't seem to have my wallet on me for some reason. Uh, I must have mm. left it somewhere. Mm. It's okay, Grandpa. I'll take care of it. Oh, I've forgotten to bring my money. Obeyed? Um, seems like I don't have any either. I must have spent it all at some point. Uh, I'm sorry, boys, but uh, I have to go and look for my wallet. I'll get you an ice cream another time, once I find it. See you later, uh, Grandpa. But, uh, but, uh, but my ice cream! Come on, Obeyed! Oh. Hi, Shama. Hmm? Hello there, guys. Oh. Hello. What are you two doing? We're waiting for Salem. And not eating ice cream. My grandpa was just about to treat us to an ice cream, but when he went to pay, he couldn't find his wallet. Oh, that's too bad. Well, if you'd seen us a bit earlier, you could have joined us for one. But alas, we've got to go. Well, you're in luck. Here, you can use these ice cream vouchers. Thank, Thank you, Shama. Shama. Next time, it's our treat. Awesome! That was nice of Shama. And now we can finally go get our ice cream. I want some juice, please. I'll have the same thing. Mm. And one of these. Huh? Mm. Huh? Mansoor! Look who's over there! It's weird seeing our teacher, Mr. Ali, in the mall. Why is that? Because it's strange to think that they're actually real people, you know? 
I mean, they eat and drink and shop just like normal people do. What did you think? That they just lived at the school and never go out? Yes, I did. Weird. Mm hmm. Huh? We've got to go and return this to him. Come on, hurry. I'll catch up to you. This uh, is important, uh, Obeyed. Come on. <laughs> but ice cream is important, too. <laughs> uh, which way did he go? Did you see? Right there. Keep running away from us. Huh? This doesn't make sense. It doesn't. That's why we've got to keep trying to reach him. Mm hmm. Obeyed? We have to find him. Come on. help for this. There's a slim chance it'll work, but it's worth a try, I think. <laughs> Hello, Nano. Hello, Mansur. Do you think you can locate Teacher Ali? I'll try. Here I go. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Teacher Ali located. Well done, Nano. Where is he, then? He is right here. Mr. Ali, we've got your... Huh? Uh... Huh? <laughs> mm, I just don't understand what's going on. Mm. Oh, look, there's Salem. Hi, Salem. Did you end up having a good time at your grandma's house? No. But what did you two do? Um, well, we saw Mr. Ali. Yeah, who ran away from us. But he dropped his wallet. Yeah, while he ran away from us. So we've been trying to return it to him all this time. Yep, but he keeps running away from us. <laughs> you don't know why, do you? No. no. Why? why? I'm not going to tell you, but I will help you find him. Ah, uh, okay. You can help. Mm. Which way did he go? Okay, let's go. But this time we hide and move stealthily. No running or shouting, do you hear? Uh-huh. <sighs> no sign of him. Then we keep moving. Over there! Follow me, and make sure he doesn't see you. 
Why all the sneaking around? It's very weird. You'll see soon enough. Teacher Lee, Teacher Lee, <gasps> this is a surprise. I spotted you during the weekend. Now may I have my prize, please? Well, well done, Salam. Salam. And, and yes, yes you, you may have, have your prize. prize. Did he huh? say prize? Thank you. How come you won them? You left class too fast, so you didn't hear Mr. Ali tell us that today was Spot Your Teacher Day. Since I spotted him and said the special words first, I won the prize, which is this voucher. But we spotted you earlier. Perhaps, but you didn't say the special words. But we didn't know what the words were. Tough luck, buddy. <laughs> 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 Huh? Huh? Where's my wallet? Oh, Mr. Ali, we found your wallet. You dropped it in the restaurant. That's why we were chasing you. Oh, Ben and I didn't know anything about Spot Your Teacher Day or the prize. Yeah, and I didn't even finish my ice cream so we could give it back. Oh, I thought you were just playing the game. But now I understand what you were really doing. Thank you so much. I'm very grateful, boys. I mean it. <laughs> well, I think one good turn deserves another. Would you like an ice cream? Oh, yes, yes, please! please. <laughs> <laughs> Three more ice creams, please. Mansoor over straight away. Goodbye, then. Mm. That was Obeid's mom. He started sleepwalking and left the house by himself. You should go help. Oh, they're so worried about him. <gasps> <gasps> Salem, yeah? we've got an emergency. No I need you and Turkey to help. Obeid is sleepwalking? He left his house, and now he's sleepwalking around town? Yes, we need to help his parents find him right away. How are we supposed to find him? He could be anywhere in this huge city. That's true, but well... Hmm? Hey, I know where he uh, is. Huh? Where? There! <laughs> he looks like a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Hi, it's Mansoor. We found Obey. I'm so relieved. Thank you so much, boys. Please bring him home right away. We'll bring him back home. Salem is going to wake him up now. No, no, no. Waking a sleepwalker suddenly can be very bad. It can be very <gasps> traumatic for them. Oh. Oh. oh my goodness. That sure was a close one, you guys. Try and get him home to his bed without waking him. Okay, we will. See you soon. That's easy. Well, what could possibly go wrong? <gasps> oh, oh, no! Let's move. We need to make the lights change to green. Change, 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 real. The lights have to hurry up and change. Uh, hurry, Salem. Uh, 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 <laughs> Salem, we have to go get him. Yeah, before the light changes. <laughs> Ooh, I'm glad nothing happened. Huh? Huh? Ah! 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 
That guard is gonna wake Obeyed! Why are you going to have him listen to music? They're noise-canceling headphones. Oh, yeah. Hey! Stop there! Mansoor, is everything okay with Obeyed? Yes, Obeyed's fine. No need to worry. Huh? What was that noise? Huh? It's nothing. We'll have it back home to you soon. Goodbye. Uh, huh? Oh no, he's going inside. We've got to get him out of here. Most of this stuff is priceless. He could get into lots of trouble. Got you! Come on! Uh, how can anyone possibly sleep and walk this much? <laughs> Wake up soon. Well, I don't think so. Stop, you lot! <laughs> Watch out! We have to stay with Obeyed. I said stop right there! I can't believe the security guard fell in the water. I can't believe Obeyed hasn't waken up. I can't believe he's walking into a TV studio. <laughs> oh, no! So, can you tell me more about your latest venture? Of course. Well, we're building an incredible new water park, and it's going to be the biggest one ever constructed. So... Uh... <laughs> oh! What? Hmm. Uh, I've got you! Typical. Even fast asleep, he's hungry. I bet he's dreaming about eating some food right now. Yeah, well, this dream has been a nightmare. Ah. Ah. Oh, 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 oh! 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry! sorry. <laughs> Of course! Obey loves pineapples. Now I know how to get him to go home. Hello there, Mansoor. This is for the pineapple. <laughs> Let's go home. Oh! Oh! 
On here? Our friend here is sleepwalking. Yeah, we can't wake him. That's right, sir. That's why we got his nose to follow his favorite fruit back home. Uh huh. I understand. Why didn't you say so? We did try. Hmm? Hmm? Mm -hmm. Um, I'm sorry, but the smell of the fish is distracting him. Oh, sorry, sorry. Well, uh, good luck. My batteries are low. I need a recharge, Mansoor. Okay, Nano. All right, change of plans, my friends. We'll take Obeyed back to my house since it's closer. I'll let his parents know. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Mansoor? It's because you've been sleepwalking. We just brought you back inside. Oh, how embarrassing. <sighs> Thankfully, you guys were the only people who saw me walking around asleep. <sighs> <laughs> it wasn't only us, Obeyed. <gasps> what do you mean? Who else saw me then? Everyone. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> next week. We'll train lots. I'm sure you'll do much better by then. Mm, I suppose. Uh... Hey, kid. Uh... You want some trainers? They're the last thing I want. No thanks. But they're very special. They'll make you faster than a road runner. Mm, no, no thanks. They will make sure you win any race. Uh... How? Look. Oh. But if you're not interested... Oh, hold on, hold on. I'll take them. Okay. Let's see what these can do for me. <laughs> oh! I can't stop! Help me! Oh, right. 
I have to show these shoes to Mansoor. You got them from an old man? And they work. These trainers are incredibly fast, but very difficult to control. I need your help. Well, let's see them. Go on, then. Huh? Please help me! I can't stop! I can't stop! Hold it tight! Sorry. Oh, wow! They really are way too fast. Tell them, do you know a way that you can control them? How? Practice. Luckily, I know just the way for you to get some safe practice in. Hey, Salem! How's it going? I think I'm finally beginning to control them. Look! Yeah, you did it, Salem. You learned to control your shoes. Why don't you go and give them a proper try? I will. people all day thanks to these shoes. But they're damaged now and I need you to fix them, Mansoor. So you can continue helping people? No, so I can beat Tarek in the next race. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, Salem. I'll fix these up for you before the race. Welcome back. Welcome back, everyone. The next race will begin in just a moment. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Where are they? Tell them! Tell them! Uh, hey! Uh, hey! Mansoor! Do you have them? Here, all fixed and good as new. Uh, 
Thanks a lot, Mensor. <laughs> Are you ready to lose another race again, Salem? I don't think so, Tarek. I've got these. <laughs> oh, as do I. <laughs> huh? Where did you get those? Runners, take your position! Prepare to get beaten, you loser. <laughs> On your marks, get set, go! Uh, whoa, 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 what is happening? Help me! Someone help me! <laughs> A very unique running style from Tarek, but he's going in the wrong direction, and so are Jamal and Jamil. <laughs> Mansoor is in the lead, but Salam on the outside is making a break. This is an incredible run from Salam. Will he manage to catch Mansoor? They're neck and neck. Neither is giving up. Salam has taken the lead. Salam has taken the lead. And he wins the race. Great job. I won. I actually won. <laughs> well done, Salam. I only beat you because I used my special trainers. No, they weren't nearly as fast as usual. <laughs> That's because they're just normal trainers now. Uh? I took them all out. Having them in the race would have been cheating. Uh, do you mean to say... Yes! You won all on your own! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to this beautiful island and my wilderness survival skills training course. Now, for those of you with a nervous disposition, <laughs> rest assured I am a survival expert so you'll be safe. No need to worry, all right, kids? And on that note, let's get started. <laughs> oh, oh, this way. Oh. Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Mr. Lee! Oh. <laughs> And boys, be careful of jumping Nutacocos. They can be dangerous. Huh? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you boys, set up camp over there. Mansoor, you are in charge. I need to put my melon down and shut my eyes for a few potatoes. What are we going to do? We can't survive what? on this island without Mr. Ali. We're all going to die. Come on, don't be silly. Mr. Ali will be fine after taking a rest. So don't worry. Anyway, we've got Nano with us. Nano, scan the area for water, food, and shelter materials. It seems there is a stream for fresh water 1.2 kilometers northeast from here, but can best be found in the vines hanging down from the surrounding trees. There are mangoes and bananas in abundance. Palm fronds are best for the construction of shelters. And statistically speaking, we are in the best location to build a camp. I'm not staying here. There's no way. I won't let you boss me around. Let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> Uh, uh, Jamal! Uh, Jamil! Let's go! Uh, 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 Don't worry, 
about them. They'll be back. Let's get our <laughs> shelter built. Mm. Higher! Lay it there. Okay, I'm late. I'm late. I'm late for some important space spaghetti. Uh. <laughs> uh After Mr. Ali. Come here, my little winged coffee making beauty. Exciting! Obeyed, do a magic trick for me. You want to see a magic trick? Sure, I'll do one. B but I can't do it yet. Not until you grab the stick. Huh? What's the trick, Obeyed? The mm -hmm. trick is saving your life. Uh, come on! <laughs> uh, come on! <laughs> uh, that was a close one. Uh, nice. Look at that! This path looks familiar. Mm -hmm. Ah! Oh. Master Obaid, what a nice surprise. We weren't expecting you. Ha ha. So where are Obaid and Mr. Ali? Hmm. I haven't seen them. Maybe they're back at camp. Jamal. Get up on that rock and fill our water bottles at once. A bus? My friends are on the other side of the island. Get them here quick, please. Where's Obaid? Where 
Where's Mr. Ali? Whoa. There's a storm coming. Master Obaid has sent for you. Please, hop in. Wow, that sounds great. <laughs> this is so awesome, you guys. Let's go to men's to the sewers camp. Wukang, we don't need them! <laughs> oh, come on. Very well, then. Side. At least it can't get any worse, guys. Am I right? Oh, hello, kids. How did we get here? Oh, what a lovely pool. Is this my milkshake? <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, Mr. Ali, are you all right now? Great. I'm better than all right. Like a brand new man. Like I've had an adventure. <sighs> Is everyone here? Except for Tarek, Jamal, and Jamil, they're still on the other side of the island. We should go and get them. Shouldn't we, guys, huh? No. <laughs> we can leave them for a bit longer. Welcome, everyone, to this beautiful new park. I would like to say thank you to everyone who has worked so hard to create it. And a special thank you to a very talented local artist who has made this great sculpture here. Ooh. And so the time has come for the awaited attraction. With the unveiling of this statue, I declare this park open. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> awesome! Do you like it? Yeah, it's very good. But what is it? Huh? <laughs> it's an elephant riding a motorbike, obey. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a bird. I was just wondering what kind of bird it is. Is it an eagle? What's that? Well, I mean, it's a big bird with a sharp beak, and it has claws. No! What's that over there? Huh? Hey! Hey! hey stop! Hey, hey stop, stop coming this hey, way! No. I don't get it. Why doesn't the driver see us? And why can't we see the driver? Huh. Oh! Uh, no! There is no driver! 
It's a runaway digger. Oh. Uh, it's driving straight towards us. It's headed towards your mom's statue. We've got to stop it. But how? With teamwork, that's how. Come uh, on. I was afraid you'd say that. <laughs> What's your plan? We'll climb on, get in, and hit the brakes. Uh, uh, shouldn't be too hard. Uh, I've changed my mind. It's impossible. Uh, how are we going to get up there? We've just got to try. Come on. Opie, climb up. Uh, hey! Uh, that really hurt. I know, thank you, Obey. Without you, we couldn't have gotten up here. You bet. You're the best ladder I've climbed. Huh? Uh, you're welcome? Come on! Uh... Okay, let's try and stop this thing. But how do we even do that? I don't even know how to drive a regular car. This is an emergency, Obaid. Try the brakes! Huh? <laughs> They're not working! Then try them again! Oh, oh no! Why are we stopping? The brake's broken! There's no steering wheel! How in the world do we make this thing turn? Maybe press huh? this button! Now we can't see where we're going! Move it back to where it was! Uh -huh. ah! was close. They saved your statue. But who's going to save them? Give me the police. This is an emergency. Oh, that was a close one. Too close. OK, I won't be able to do this without your help. You each take a lever. Yours turns us right, and yours turns us left. I'll fix the brake. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh, we'll have to steer. Get ready, Solemn. Got it. Let's start now. Uh, hedge! Hedge! Uh, hedge! I see it! I see it! Uh, Nicely done. Catastrophe avoided. Thank you. Mansoor, how's fixing the brakes? I think I fixed... Oh, no! Guys, why are we going faster? Because of this. Huh? Are you telling me that we can't stop this thing now? Looks like we'll have to keep driving around the park until we eventually run out of gas. For now, at least. But we should be fine now that we can steer this thing. Mm. Ah! Oh! Oh! What did you do that for, Obeyed? Well, you said steer. I might have said it, but I didn't mean for you to do it. I was just explaining. Look, all I heard was you say steer, so I steered. Uh, hey, guys. No, ah! This can't be good. Ah! Obeyed. What did you want me to do? It's not like I had a choice, you know. Look! Huh? Now we have the cops chasing after us! Let's just keep going in a straight line while we work out what to do. <gasps> so what do you have in mind, then? Nano, can you give me the schematics of the digger, please? Will do, Mansoor. How do we shut the engine down? These three wires need to be unplugged. How are we going to do that? Well, someone's going to have to go out there and unplug them. <laughs> okay. I guess I'll be the one to go out there and do it. Huh? Well, you shouldn't get out of a moving vehicle. Well, I have to. If we want this to be a non-moving vehicle. Uh, that's true. We're counting on you.
Done, boys. You saved the day. You saved the day. You did it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like these RC diggers. They're easier to drive than the real thing. <laughs> Check this out, you guys. Aha. <laughs> <laughs> Fella? Climb down from the tree and pet me. Do it now. Come on. Tickle me behind the ear. Wait a minute. <laughs> Tricked you. Uh-huh. It's my new invention. A miniature voice amplification unit. Oh, very clever. Thank you, Obaid. It's so hot. I mean, it's too hot. I just can't stand this heat. I have a much better way for you guys to stay cool. Uh, a trip to a very cold place. Where, Dad? Tell us. To the Himalayas. 
I'm flying there tomorrow and thought you guys might like to come along. But you want to be very careful there, boys. It's the home of the Yeti. Huh? What is the Yeti? Oh, don't you know? Yetis are big, wild, <laughs> terrifying <laughs> snow beasts. <gasps> Your grandfather is only teasing. Yetis aren't actually real. Of course they are. Hmm. And be careful, boys. You look like Yeti breakfast to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope all this Yeti talk hasn't spooked you guys. Your grandfather is only joking, I promise. So, are you still interested in the trip? Yeah, please take us. It sounds really amazing, Dad. Oh, and it will finally stop Salem from complaining about the heat. Yeah. I can't believe how cold it is. It's freezing. How can it be this cold? This is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least he's not complaining about the heat. <laughs> well, there is one way to stay warm, Salem. Really? What? Snowball, Snowball fight! fight! <laughs> 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 Run! <laughs> Honestly, this is a great way to stay warm, don't you guys think? Whoa! Sorry, El Baid. I ruined the warmth for you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a nice surprise for you boys. Here, you can ride on these. Wow! Whoa. That's so cool! Whoa. Listen up. Whoa. Stick to the open slopes where I can see you, wear your helmets, and don't go into the woods. You got it? Your mouth had a break. <laughs> you deserve that. Tree? No, there was something moving by the trees. It was something big and furry. Very funny, Obadi. No, I'm serious. There was something in the trees. And I think it was a Yeti. It looked like one. Obadi, you know Yetis aren't real. They are. They're real. And your grandpa said they're real, too. He was joking. But I saw one, and it waved at me just like uh, this over there. Well then. There's only one way to find out, and that's to see for ourselves. Come on! Come on then, Obaid. Let's go and find your mysterious Yeti. Oh, this is not a good idea. There's no sign of anything, Obaid. Oh, yeah? Then what are these here? Uh, no way. Uh, you see? I told you. There must be a logical explanation for this. Yes, there is. It's a Yeti. Hello, Nano. Hello, Mancer. These footprints, what do you think they're from? Analyzing now. Analysis complete. Species unknown. Uh, so it could it actually be a Yeti? Impossible. Yetis are myths. They are not real. But I saw one. Photographic evidence is required. Okay, thanks, Nano. You'd better get back in here. We don't want your circuits to freeze. Affirmative. So we need to photograph the Yeti in order to prove its existence. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. It could be dangerous. But I thought you said they weren't real. 
So tell me, how could it be dangerous? I, uh, uh... Let's follow the footprints. But they're going into the woods. Come on, this could be an important discovery. Uh, wait for me. Evidence. This picture isn't clear. We need to get a little closer. <laughs> what do you think the Yeti is doing? Maybe exercising? It is a bit fat. Rawr! 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 You three bits. What? Fooled you. <laughs> Grandpa? <laughs> I used your voice amplifier gizmo thing, man, sir. I saw you tricking them, and I wanted to have some fun, too. <laughs> I always knew it was just a costume. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I'm just so glad that it's you, Grandpa. And here I was beginning to think yetis were actually real monsters. Don't you worry, Obeid. There is no such thing as a Yeti. Really? Then what's that? <laughs> Run for your lives! <laughs> Down here! You guys? Huh? huh? Well, that was unexpected. Nobody told me you guys were going to be in the film. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's great. I love this shot. I love the giant snowball. That really took the cake for me. <laughs> uh, you're welcome. It's our pleasure to be part of of a movie. Anytime, right, you guys? This is outrageous. Dressing up as a Yeti to scare innocent people is a terrible thing to do. Hmm? Hmm. Nice try. 
Honestly, if you want to get better, what I would suggest is that you should spend more time practicing football and a little less time studying and writing essays, cousin. Get up and catch! <laughs> Uh. Hey, let's stop the game for a bit. Let's take a break and go get a drink. Good idea. Hey, guys, why don't you come try a free sample of this new drink, Bingo Pop? Oh! Mm -hmm. It tastes good. By the way, if you're interested to know, we also have a competition right now to find the face of a Bingo uh -huh. Pop. The huh? face of Bingo Pop? What does that mean? What she means is that the winner will represent Bingo Pop through advertisements and posters with their face. Sounds exciting. I would like to win so I can be famous. Uh. Going to be the new face for Bingo Pop. Mm -hmm. Or me. Oh. <laughs> 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 uh. What? I would pick you as the winner, Salem. But the Bingo Pop people are probably looking for someone that looks more like Turkey. <laughs> 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 It says here that along with submitting the photos of you, you have to write an essay no less than 200 words, stating the reasons as to why you love Bingo Pop. What? No way. You may have the muscles, but I doubt you have the writing talent. I have all the pictures I need to submit, and now I'm going to write the essay that will make me the winner of the competition. I need my beauty sleep, and for that reason, cousin, I will wish you a very good night. Are you waiting to win the competition? Hmm. Oh, my poor, poor turkey. You won't win the competition with this. Turkey, what are you doing? I'm following up on Bingo Pop's competition because they're going to announce the winner today. Salem, did you enter the competition too? Mm, yeah, sort of. Yeah, he entered, but we all know there's only going to be one winner. Who knows? You might win, Salem. <laughs> we'll see. I got something. Are you sure you sent my foreman, Salem? Of course. Guys! <gasps> I got a message from Bingo Pop! Tell us, what does it say? Go outside. I wonder what that means. Oh. <laughs> Turkey, you won! <laughs> really? Really, I won? Can you believe it, cousin? I won, I won! Hey. Congratulations, Turkey! Your wonderful essay has won you a year's supply of Bingo Pop. You'll also be the star of all Bingo Pop's advertising. <laughs> It was a very well-written piece. We really enjoyed reading it. Really? Um, uh, I mean, thank you. Are you ready? Uh, uh, okay, let's go. Okay, we are getting the costumes ready right now. Turkey, this is for you. And your friends will wear those there. Huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You look absolutely amazing, Salem. Don't worry, Salem. We all look silly. All of us except for Turkey. Yes, everyone looks great. We're gonna take some photos. Great work. Now we'll begin to shoot the TV advertisement, okay? Everyone ready and action. 
Hi there, my name is Turkey, and Bingo Pop is so delicious. Cut, that's a wrap. Well done, everyone. Turkey, so are you enjoying this new job? Yeah, I am, but I think I drank way too much Bingo Pop. Attention, Turkey, I have a big surprise for you. Guess what? You are going to be the guest on a live TV show tonight. Come on, let's go. Please, everyone, feel free to drink as much Bingo Pop as you want. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Honestly, guys, working in a pair costume can sure make you thirsty. No, 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 thanks. I can't drink any more than I have already. But we need to take a picture of you, Turkey so we can post it on our social media sites. Excellent. <laughs> Ready for another surprise? Look! Don't feel bad, Salem. The best actor won, me! <gasps> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, we will welcome the new face of Bingo Pop, whom you'll see everywhere. Give him a big round of applause. Hello, everyone! Feel now that you have become the most famous boy in the country. Hmm. Uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, it feels amazing, to be honest. You won because of the great descriptive essay you wrote for this competition. And my favorite part is when you wrote, and I quote, beautifully brilliant bursts of fabulous, fantastic tasting fruit tantalizingly tickle my taste buds. Hmm? And then you end with a great final slogan. Can you share what it is with us? Mm -mm. Um, I think it was, um, uh, uh, this juice is tasty. And when I drink it, it makes me feel like I want to fly. Ah. Uh. No, that's not what you wrote. Uh, uh, uh. Um. Maybe it was, maybe it was Bingo Pop. Makes me jump freely like a, a, um, a, a kangaroo. Huh? No, that's not it either. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, I remembered it. Um, 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 Bingo Pop makes me hold my head mm. with embarrassment. No, what you wrote is, Bingo Pop, it's the fruitiest burst of burstiest fruit. How do you not remember that? Um, to be honest, I didn't write this essay. My cousin Salem did. Oh. <gasps> Does this mean you cheated? Huh? No, but I did get some help from him. He's the best cousin in the world. <sighs> <laughs> this makes us happy. All right, could you take a sip of the juice and tell us your slogan? I mean, your cousin's slogan. <laughs> um... Bingo Pop, it's... <laughs> Disgusting! I can't drink anymore! Where's the bathroom? <laughs> well, I'm glad I didn't win this competition. <laughs> Turkey, you now have more than 15 million views on social media. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, Salem, what you did was actually very kind. Mm, well, I realized that Turkey wanted to win more than I did. And I also realized that my essay was better than his, so... So that's how you made me make a fool of myself on a live TV show. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, Salem. You were very kind. I'm sorry. I let the fame get to my head. Huh? 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 Hello, Turkey. Even though you're no longer the face of Bingo Pop, we're contractually obligated to give you the other part of your prize. And what is it? This. A year's supply of Bingo Pop. Oh. I hope you enjoy it. Oh. 
I told you the car was parked illegally. This way. Oh, the balloon. Come on. <laughs> huh? oh, stop right there! Thanks for the ride! <laughs> hey, look! Yeah. Did you hear that? Stop those thieves! You get back here right now! Come on, let's go! Thieves! Thieves! Uh, help me! Those men stole my balloon! <laughs> We're going to help you, sir. We won't let them get away with it. Thank you, kids! Go get those thieves for me! Hurry, get them! Hey, we don't want any passengers. Still hanging on. You're not going to get away with this, you thieves! Oh, really? <laughs> How are you gonna stop us? I'll think of something! Hey guys, the balloon is heading towards the football stadium! Come on, let's go! It moves around the defenders. He's just got the goalie to beat. He shoots! <laughs> and he scores! Goal! 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 One, Neil Mansour! Mansour! Mansour. Oh. Mansour. Oh. That's what you get for chasing us! <laughs> I'll get you! Uh. Hurry! We could throw this up and hook it onto the basket. Ugh, it's too heavy. Nano, can you fly up there and attach this onto the balloon? I will try, Mansoul. I don't know how long his batteries are gonna last. Huh. Huh. Uh, well done, Nano. Yeah, you did it. What? <laughs> I told you I would think of something. Huh? Ha! Ha ha! You're going to have to do better than that, kid. I guess that makes it 2-0. <laughs> Got a plan. 
I'm going to pop the balloon with my pen. We must do something. Mm, with a big catapult. A big catapult? Mm, that's a good idea, Obey. Huh? It is? It's not a good idea. It's not a good idea. No, no! Oh. You ready, Obey? No, I'm not ready! <laughs> the balloon and get on that helicopter. Uh, uh, huh? That's a good idea. Mansoor, you have to get to the building with the helicopter on the roof. The thieves are going to make their getaway in a helicopter. Okay, Obeyed. We'll be right there. And so then he tells me that... Huh? Oh, huh? Actually, we are going up, and you, kid, you're coming with. Hey, full power! How'd he end up in that? Obeyed! Jump down! Come on, get to the chopper. We must do something. Hmm. Uh, uh, you're not going to try and fly it, are you, Mansoor? No, I'm just going to add a little bit of wind. No! He started the engine for us. What a sweet kid. No! <laughs> we need to land. Give it more power, Mansoor. Uh, oh! Uh, we're out of fuel. Uh, 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 Stop, you thieves! Ah! 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 Ah
going to the library for a project about ancient civilization but we have to do it the old-fashioned way you know with books not the internet well good luck with that boys <laughs> be careful of the librarian all right she's very <laughs> strict see you later hmm. <laughs> ah, Hmm. Yes? Hello there. We're here to do some research for a school project. Do you know the library rules? No. You must always remain quiet. You have to respect the books, turn the pages gently and quietly. No phones, no running, no eating, no playing, and no talking whatsoever. <laughs> and no laughing either. Got it? Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. Mm. Look here! This is the book we need. Library, go outside now. <laughs> I just got kicked out of the library. <laughs> Shh. I need to go get another book. Yeah, me too. What's that? Fat man left his notes. I think that we should look through them. Shh. Designing a weapon uh. to destroy the Earth. We have to go tell Mansoor. Talking. Uh, please, boys, give me that book. What's going on? We've got to get out of here right now. What? Why? Because of this here. What is that? Hmm. Uh, stop 
over there! there. There's no <laughs> running in the library. <laughs> What's going on? We'll explain when we're somewhere safe. But trust us, it's an emergency. Hey, uh, no, uh, stop. You can't take that book out of the library. Ah, uh, please wait. <laughs> hold, hold. That book has not been checked out yet. Why is that man chasing us? Because he wants to destroy the Earth. What are you talking about? These are his plans for a doomsday device. Give them to me! machine to blow up the earth that's why we ran we have to go to the police wait a sec huh this isn't a plan for a device to destroy the world it's not then what is it it's a plan for a revolutionary device it's designed to provide solar power to the entire world oh oh so you mean he's not trying to destroy the world no obeyed he's actually trying to help it and we ran off with his plans oh what are we going to do now? Well, there's only one thing we can do. What? what? Go back to the library as quickly as we can. Huh? I got the book back. But do you have the professor's notes? He's a professor? Aha! Uh -huh. That makes sense. Uh, mm. I'm afraid there was a slight confusion. Oh, we're really sorry. Will you give them back to him, please? You can do it. Here he is right now. I have your notes here, Professor. Oh, thank you. We thought you wanted to destroy the Earth, and that was the master plan. Uh-huh. That is the only reason we took mm. them at all. No, it's the opposite. These plans could provide everyone with solar power forever. So thank you. This is my life's work, after all. I don't know what I would have done without them in my hands. I just wanted to say we're really sorry for everything. <laughs> don't worry, boy. 
It's fine. All's well that ends well, right? I had quite the adventure. I sure broke a sweat. Hello, my dear. Hello, mother. <gasps> He's my boy. My sweet little boy. <laughs> we never would have guessed. It isn't obvious at all. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back to pick you up at five. And please try to stay out of trouble. Yeah, see you later. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for taking us. Bye, Mom. <gasps> Let's go. At the center of our solar system, and at a distance of 149 billion, uh, 597 uh, million. Uh, 870,000, 800, no wait, is that 700 meters? Yeah, that's it. So mm. at a distance of 149 mm. billion, huh? 871. Are you guys meters, thinking what I'm thinking? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. star of the solar system. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that the sun mm -hmm. is yellow because it is covered with liquid hot magma. Mm -hmm. It comes from the core. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I think it's okay for us to put these on, right? I think so. You sure? Hmm? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> huh? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. I thought they said the suits were ready for us. Huh? Mm. Mm. Uh -huh. This simulator looks so real. Yeah. Why don't we find out how real it feels then? <laughs> <laughs> are in real outer space. They can hear what we're saying. Yes, I can. And I need you to listen carefully to what I'm saying. Uh, oh, this is oh, very oh, important. Oh, wow! It's even interactive. So cool. Ooh! Feels like the real thing. Oh, right? It's awesome. Stop it. J just stop it. This is not a simulator. And I am not just a voice box. You boys are in a real space shuttle, and you're about to get lost in space. Don't you understand? Huh? Huh? Don't panic. Listen to my instructions now, and we will guide you safely back to Earth, okay? There's one thing you need to keep in mind, though. 
Do you see the flashing red button? It's near the speaker. Do not repeat. Do not press that button under any circumstance. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> And they're gone! We're all alone in space now! Oh. We can't just panic. We need to focus on finding a way back to Earth. What? what was that? Oh, it seems we've docked with a space station. There has to be someone here who can help us get back to Earth. Come on! Intruder alert! Intruder alert! Intruder! Intruders! Identify yourselves! Hi there! We're not intruders, we're... Uh, oh. mm, wait, let us explain! Uh, get him! Uh, okay, as soon as we get down... Would you listen? going to hurt you. Is there anyone here who can help us get back to Earth? I'm the only one here now. Can you help me get up? Oh, I have a bad back. I should be able to help reroute your space shuttle. That is, if I can remember how to do it. But robots don't forget things. That is correct. However, I have been here for so long that some of my circuits need immediate replacing. They need immediate replacing. J just like the rest of this space station, as you can so clearly see, see, see. But, but, but since the real astronauts did na 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 arrive to fix it in time, it is na 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 now scheduled to s s s l self destruct at a m m m m m moment's no 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 notice. No way! Where's that? When? Uh, self destruct in T minus 45 minutes. Can you stop it? Sure. All I need to do is enter the passcode here. Self-destruct in T minus 10 minutes. Oh, 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 wait. Now I remember. Self-destruct in T minus 5 minutes. Maybe it's this one. Stop! Oh, oh. Can you just reroute the space shuttle to take us back and quick? Oh, that's easy to do. <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whoa! Self-destruct in T minus three minutes. Is there another way off this station? There's an escape pod, but that's only for emergencies. This is definitely an emergency. <laughs> Self-destruct in T minus two minutes. We need to disengage. There must be a manual here somewhere. Look around. Self-destruct uh, in T minus uh, one minute. Anyone find anything? Quick! If my calculations are correct, then this lever will assist us. No! That wasn't so bad after all. So what do you think we should do now? Ten seconds. <gasps> Nine. as far away from the space station as possible before uh, three, it... Three, two, one. <laughs> Brace for re-entry into Earth's atmosphere.
Huh? Badir! Papa! Badir, you're back! Papa! Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh. Thank you for bringing Badir home. Oh, we thought he had been lost forever. You know this robot? Hello there. I'm the director, and I'm in charge of the Space Center's operations. You see, we sent Badir on a mission to gather data from the space station. But when we lost contact with him years ago, the whole project was abandoned. I can only imagine all the information my robot pal is carrying, and that information will be absolutely invaluable to our work. Thank you for bringing him back home. <laughs> Thank you so much, boys. <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, it's a long story. Come on now, tell me. Don't worry, Mom. I'm pretty sure you're gonna hear all about it very soon. <laughs> shoe and you'll have a pair each to wear soon. <laughs> Grandpa, how can there be this much garbage in the harbor? Well, they are trying to raise money to clean it all up. Oh, but they've got a long road ahead. Oh, oh, I got one, I got one! This feels like a big one! <laughs> huh? Maybe it's a size 14, Obeyed. Looks like you've got a real monster, Obeyed. Whoa! Oh, oh, no. It broke the line. Aw. Uh -huh. It's okay. Next time. There's always a next time. Oh, I was about to catch a monster, or so I thought. He was big, huh? all right, but no monster. Did you ever hear of the Beast of El Gadis? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. When I was a younger man, I used to dive for pearls at El Gadis. Oh, the work was difficult, all right but the rewards were worth it. Until... Until... Until the monster came. Its teeth were as sharp as a shark's and had a towering body the size of a whale. I met <gasps> the beast one day, and I'll never forget those dead black eyes. I think the boys have had enough. We don't want them to actually believe crazy fisherman stories. They're not just fisherman stories. That beast was real. Real, I tell you, as real as you and me, and I can prove it. See for yourself, he bit my boat in half. You mark my words. The beast still guards the treasures of Al Gatis. Hm. Grandpa, do you think we could go there? I don't see why not. I'm too old to dive now, but you young fellows can. Yay! All right, ready for an adventure? You yeah. bet! Let's sell what we find and use the money for the harbor cleanup. We're here at the Algatis Reef. Let's get ready, guys. Here. Use these nets to gather the oysters, but just take the big ones. The young ones don't have any pearls, okay? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> through this old pot in the sea. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad for beginners. 
I'm sure you'll soon get the hang of it. Let's get back to work. <gasps> Pickings, boys. I did find this crab. <coughs> More like he found huh? you. Oh! <laughs> guys, hey guys, you won't believe this. There are hundreds, maybe thousands. Come on, I'm sure we'll find a pearl there. Nice work, very nice work, man, sir. Great job. How did you find all that? I had a little help from an octopus. Come on, I'll show you where it is. <gasps> talking about the, the, the monster grandpa it's not just a story it's real it almost ate turkey i told you there's no such thing as sea monsters things look bigger underwater you must have seen something else like a moray eel or a well, what do you call what's behind you then <laughs> that why that's just a, a, a sea monster <laughs> Grandpa, are you all right? I'm fine, I'm fine. But we have to get out of here. And fast. Pull up the anchor while I start the engine. Oh, oh no, it's stuck! Salem, Ove, come and help us! <gasps> it's no good. I'm going to have a look. It's a sea monster! It's holding on to the anchor! We can't leave! Oh, yeah? We'll see about that. Hang on. Oh, it's pulling us down! We have to try and scare it away. Ooh, you just gave me a great idea! Oh, you finally lost it! Not like that. Watch. Huh? Quiet down, boys. Let's see if it did the trick. I guess not. Oh, what's this? Oh, my pearl. I forgot all about it. Oh, yes, it's a real beauty, all right. Not much use to us now that we're monster food. <gasps> oh, I think I got it. I know what to do. It's the pearl. Mansoor, the pearl. Let's throw the pearl at the monster. Obeyed. Sure, it's a big pearl, but it's not like it's going to do anything. We're going to need something way bigger than that to do some damage. No, 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 no. Let's 
Listen, remember what the old fisherman said. The beast guards the treasures of all Gatis. What are you getting at, Obe? I mean, I'm just thinking. Maybe all it wants is its pearl back, you know? I'm out of ideas. Obeyed could be right. Obeyed! I think you hit the jackpot! Salem! <laughs> the anchor! Quick, help me! It worked! <laughs> the monster let go of the anchor! Okay, then. How about we get out of here? Yeah! <laughs> Your idea was good thinking, Obey. Thank you, thank you. I know. Well, the thing is, I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> Perhaps in the future, I'll listen to old fisherman's tales. And now we have a tale of our own to tell, Grandpa. Oh, look! We still have five oysters and this rusty old pot. Huh? Where did you get that pot? What? You mean that? Incredible. Huh? It doesn't look incredible. No, oh, but it is. It's actually an ancient Persian relic. And by the inscriptions written on its side, I believe this relic must be over a thousand years old. A thousand years old? Nearly as old as me. <laughs> the Persian pot is worth a lot of money, you see. Of course, an important relic like this belongs in the museum. We'll take it there. And you can collect your rewards. How does that sound to you? Huh? Did you say rewards? Naturally. We can't let young archaeologists like you go unrewarded. You deserve something. Good job, boys. Yes! <laughs> we found our treasure. Now we can help with the harbor cleanup. Yeah! yeah!